Hello Mary Ellen, welcome to your new video. You'll need some dumbbells. Let's start with five pounds and see where we go. This should last about 10 minutes. Let's start with the feet a little bit wider than the hip. Feet parallel to another, let's sit back and we'll just pulse. So hold on to the dumbbells together, they're touching, your elbows are in and we'll pulse here. Let's go for 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So on the way up, we're pressing all the way up to shoulder press, and then we're going to sit in the squat with the elbows at 90. Let's do 10 of these. We're halfway there. Make sure you can see your toes when you sit back. There's three more. Last one. And then we'll sit back. The bells come together. We'll just pulse it again. The last ten, nine, five, four, three, two. And one. Great job. Let's step left foot forward, right foot steps back. Make sure that they are far enough apart that you feel balanced, and then both knees bend. Torso is straight up. We'll bring the elbows up 90 and we're opening. So I'll just turn forward so you can see the legs are there. Opening. So the elbow stays close to the ribs. Opening and closing here. Give me five more. Two, and one, stay here, stay open, stay synced in, and let's pulse it. Four, three, two, one, together. All right, we'll need to go to the opposite side, so right foot will be forward, left foot is back, sink in, the knees are bent, torso is straight, this one will go forward, and just pulse up, so the arms are straight out, 10, 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the dumbbells to your shoulder. We'll just do a little pulse. 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring them together. Shake the legs out. You may or may not need a dumbbell for the next one, so let's go with that left foot forward again. Right foot steps out. The toes are aiming to the right side of the mat, so you're in a warrior two posture, bending that front knee, knee over ankle. If you decide to keep the weights, they come to your shoulder. If you want to drop them, just put the hands behind the head. We're crunching, so the knee, or elbows to knee. Imagine that you're between two panes of glass, so you're not leaning forward or back. If this is fairly manageable, you can also start to lift the front heel as you crunch. Let's see if we can do 10 more. We got five, four, two. And one, stick to the crunch. If you have the dumbbells hanging out, just bring them down. You'll stay in that lean forward. I want you to extend the arm as if you imagine like you're holding a beach ball. So make sure you're not taking forward. You're holding so the right shoulder opens up, extending this straight forward, leaning as far as you can and hold it. Make some big breaths. Two more. All the way. Very good, we'll sink into the other side here. Coming to that warrior two posture, the other side, right foot is forward. Dumbbells are not, don't really need them, it's hard enough as it is. And we're crunching here again. Option to start to lift the front heel as you crunch forward. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. 
If you had the dumbbell, lower it down. Taking that long extension, so holding like that imaginary beach ball, left shoulder is right back, leaning, extending the arms as far forward as you can, and hold. Two more breaths. And come right back to your center. Walk in a little bit, the heels are inward. Toes are out, we're sinking into that goddess pose. Thicken that pelvis under. Arms are at 90. Option to take the weights or not. If you're doing the weights or even without, you stay synced in. Elbows are coming in together in front of your chest. We'll do 10 of these. 9, 8, Last five, three, two, and one. Bring it together, heel toe, the feet in so they're a little bit wider than hip. Holding on to the weight, elbows are wide this time. Torso twist. So the hip bones are staying static, simply moving from the waist from side to side. We're here for 10. And nine. And five, four, two, and one. Let's keep on to the, uh, the dumbbell. Just move a little side to side as a nice stretch using the weight of the dumbbell to help you sink in from one side to the other. Go back again, and then we just take some big shoulder rolls. Thinking about the forward direction here, up and back, shoulders down and forward, super big circles, and then move in the other direction, same exact movement, only the other way, taking your time to roll. Bend your knees enough to drop the weights down. You will extend your arms forward, come and interlace the fingertips in front of you. Knuckles forward, chin to chest, find this upper wide back. Create some space between your shoulder blades with each breath. Let the head really tip forward. With a big full breath in and out through your nose. Release and interlace behind, squeeze the shoulder blades together this time, opening your chest, opening your heart. In this moment to really breathe fully and completely, not rushing to what's next, simply being in the moment with these back and chest stretches. And I invite you to come all the way down. Come and sit and lay down on your back. You'll draw the knees in towards your chest, so let your head relax. Hug the knees in, the hands on top of the knees if you can, and just a nice rock from side to side. Find some stillness, lift your head and shoulders up from the ground. Try to squeeze yourself in that small ball, nose to knee. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze tight. And relax the head down, relax the left foot down, so only keeping the right knee in. Hug the right knee as close as you can to your chest. And then switch the grip to behind the leg as you start to extend that right leg up. Point and flex that right foot a couple of times. And resting that right ankle over the left thigh, so finding figure four. We'll go into a torso twist to finish this up. So with your next exhale, twist to the left, planting that right foot down. The arms are a little higher up, more shoulder height. Maybe your head turns towards the right hand. Take just the next couple of breaths to relax into the twist, to surrender to the posture. Full breaths through your nose. And come back to your center. 
Release the right foot down, draw the left knee into the chest, hug it as close as you can towards your chest using your hands. Find a nice stretch in your low back. When you're ready, switch the hands to behind the leg and extend, extend the left leg up. Point and flex, point and flex. And now extend or bend that left knee, ankle over thigh, figure four the other side. Arms a little bit higher and use your exhale to twist. This time the left foot will plant on the right side. Nice supine twist. Just taking a simple few moments to relax into the posture. To let go of the last few minutes, perhaps setting your intention to your day, to what's next. Come back through your center, uncross the legs. If you have a few moments, you can certainly take a few moments in relaxation here, extending your legs out. Or if you want to finish the practice with me, slowly push yourself back to seated, any seated position. I'll just invite you to bring your hands together into your heart center, pressing the back of your thumbs to your chest, keeping the eyes closed as you can, taking a moment of gratitude for this day, for your life, for your health. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.